If you're new to our channel, welcome. I'm Stephen. Even though it's well into December, we've been experiencing some warm and sunny days where we live on one of Japan's southern islands. Yumi sometimes prepares bread dough in the evening, which she leaves overnight, and then we have it for breakfast the next day. We don't have an oven, so we can't bake bread, but our little kind of toaster appliance seems to do the job just fine. Before toasting, Yumi gives the dough rolls some more time to rise. Time to wake up our young daughter. We found a lot of kinkan recently in the local farm shops. While waiting for the dough to rise, Yumi is going to make some kumquat jam or kinkan jam in Japanese. First, they take the stalk ends of the kumquat citrus fruits. After an initial struggle, she got the hang of it. Mia's been really enjoying helping out in the kitchen. Next, they boil them for a while. It's always challenging to measure out the sugar without Mia trying to eat it all. They take out all the seeds and chop up the kinkan. And then heat up the chopped kumquats, adding sugar and a little sudachi citrus fruit juice, which is a bit like lime juice. <laughs> Looks like it needs constant tasting. The kinkan jam is ready, and so are the bread rolls. Breakfast time. Mm. <coughs> Tastes like marmalade. We've noticed bits of taping on parts of the ceiling, which we think were put there by a previous tenant. 
a closer inspection, reveal some small gaps, which could be another entry point for creepy crawlies here in the Japanese countryside. Uh, now, if you look at this one, it's a bit different. It's, it's more, well, I think the issue is maybe more if you look up. Uh, but there's something on the, not alive, there's something on the tape there, I don't know if it's old legs or something. This, no, man. What? Where, where, did that, where did that come from now, man? Yeah. Where, where did you see it? There. Huh? There. Where? where? There, in the shelf. Mark, if you just... Oh? And it fell down? Yes. Oh. A few weeks ago, we think a mukade centipede, which we noticed crawling on the floor, mm. may have dropped down from one of these small ceiling gaps. A sponge and glue filling should do the trick for now. My God, that is oh a monster. my God. Is that the biggest one we've ever seen before? Yeah, I think it's from the cold. I think he's caught somewhere. Eh? Luckily, I, luckily I have closed that door there now. Oh, it was a friggin' snake or something. Yeah. That's the biggest mukare I've ever seen. Thank you. 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 Speaking of centipedes, we were shocked to find this one recently, clinging onto the outside of the window. Big that thing is. Big is so I saw it. Oh my gosh. Mm, well, people talk about the 20 centimeter ones, eh? Eh, huge. Luckily, we caught the thing before it decided to pay us a visit inside. Eh, <laughs> We haven't seen many of them recently as winter sets in. But this was the biggest mukade centipede that we've come across. We are more used to dealing with these kinds of creatures now, having lived in the countryside for a while. But every now and then, something still comes along which freaks us out a little. The afternoon was warm and sunny, so we decided to spend some time at the beach. <laughs> we were going to be having one of my favorite Japanese dishes of gyoza for dinner. It's kind of like dumplings. Yumi prepares the gyoza filling of finely chopped cabbage and chives along with some ground garlic and ginger. Next she adds the pork mince with some sake, sesame oil and soy sauce. A dash of salt and then she mixes all the ingredients together. Mini sous chef arrives again to help prepare the gyoza dumplings. Mm, 
ずママもですうんありがとうこれ見えじゃんこれ全部こ,ここら辺見えじゃん上手にできてるこれこっちはいけそうそうそうそうそうどっか見せてそうそう本当に。